Okay, let's break into this. Bam! Okay, that was kind of weak. All right. This is the Miserac Donovan 2 8 foot billiard table setup and review. Let's go. I bought this from Amazon.com, but you can find it elsewhere. And it arrives in a huge eight or about nine foot pallet, very heavy. Be ready. So I'm gonna show you how to break this apart and the way I learned to do it. I've never done this before, I just learned it just now. So just grab this with a plier, twist it, keep twisting it. It's definitely heavy. On Amazon, it says it weighs approximately 741 pounds. This video is made for you to see the details of this table and also to help you set it up. It's not a replacement of the guide. There's a book with details instructions on how to set this up properly. There are a lot of pieces, so be prepared to be organized and be ready to put dozens of pieces together. It's a fun activity, but it will take a lot of time. After placing the main beams on the legs, then you want to put in the screws, but don't tighten the screws just yet. Then we're going to put the end slates on both sides of the table, as shown. And then again, we're going to put in the screws, but do not tighten it because we need to level later. Then put the main beam and boards as shown four pieces one on each end of the main beam We're going to measure the square as shown here. Your measurement may not match mine. As stated in the book, once this is square, then you can go ahead and tighten up all the screws. Alright, this next part is very important to get it right, otherwise the play field will be unleveled and it's going to drive you insane. So follow the book's details and here's a picture of all the measurements I take with this leveler that it doesn't come with, you have to go purchase one, it's very cheap. I bought this from Home Depot for $9.99 and I put it in on the ends, in the middles, diagonals. Mathematically, I mean, if you do it in a few spots, it should be correct everywhere, but I just want it to be 100% accurate. So make sure it's leveled everywhere, otherwise your game is going to be off. So here's a demonstration of a badly leveled pool table. I put the ball in the center and it rolls towards me. Okay. 
not every part of a pool table is exact because of that and because of your flooring type etc etc you may have to put wedges as shown in the book in order to level it out by the way this is the three and a quarter slate rock that's why it's so heavy now I did re measure and re level as needed to ensure that it's equal everywhere and then I'm going to do the ball test and that will assure me that the table is level. Alright we're getting closer let's drill those screws in there do not over tighten them it's a rock be careful and if it doesn't go in don't force it too too much so instead of using the drill bit I also use just manual screwdriver to tighten it up let's inspect it make sure all the slate rocks are lined up to the edges on all sides and are centered Wipe it down with a little bit of water on the cloth to get rid of all the dust, any small particles, just make sure it's clean. I also vacuumed it. They provide you with plenty grout. Now ensure to follow the book's instructions. I made a mistake here. It's too liquidy. It did not work well for me. So I made a mistake, as you saw in the previous clip, I spread it too much. It should have been just enough to cover the seam, the gap, that opening, and that's it. I had to pay for it by undoing it. I'm going to show that in the next clip. So don't do too much. It was too challenging to sand all of that off. So I put water back on the grout to loosen it up. I cleaned it up and then I sanded it both manually and with the sanding machine. Careful with the sanding machine because it could chip off slate rock. 
so it's best to do it manually. Let's clean it again, same thing, a little bit of water on the cloth, not directly on the rock. Wipe it down, vacuum it, make sure there's no dust or particles. This is very important. It didn't turn out as nicely as I wanted to, but it works. I actually put this piece together while I was waiting for all the grout to dry off. Careful with these corner pieces because they are cheap plastic. So don't put too much force. This is one of the negatives about this table is this cheap plastic on the edges.
before putting in the rails, you gotta make some holes where the screws are supposed to go. So that way it's easy for you to drill in the rails. That's it. Here we have it. The Slate Miserac Donovan 8 foot billiard table setup. It comes with those balls, two house cues. They also provide two blue chalks, which are terrible quality, so replace them immediately. The legs are okay, but I feel like they could have been made with better quality. The cloth is pretty good to get started uh, with, but I'm definitely going to replace that in the future. It makes too much fuzz after playing. The corners are cheap plastic. I wish they would have been stainless steel or something. But the rails are pretty good quality, sturdy, feels good. Overall, I am happy with this choice. Very fantastic price for an awesome slate 8 foot table. <laughs>